Today in Daisy, we try something very interesting. Because recently, I came across someone's channel and he made a video showcasing how Daisy has some hidden secrets. I want to clarify that these are vanilla secrets, things you can do in vanilla official DayZ, but I'm utilizing it on a mod server. Today we started our adventure and we try our best to accomplish living inside a tree. And when I say that, I mean to be completely hidden inside one tree. Matter of fact, before the video starts, have a look at this image. I want you guys to comment down below where on my screen the player is. There's a player inside this tree, which position is the player in? One, two or three, let me know in the comments. Alright, ladies and gentlemen of the good life, we're playing a server called PRR today. And PRR is actually very interesting because the tiers on the map have been reversed. So instead of spawning on the coast and going inland, you go from inland to the coast. And uh, so, for example, Scalisti Island is tier 4, so, you know, normally you wouldn't ever go to Scalisti Island, you'd always be in Tizzy, uh, you know, getting your best gear, but today you have to go to Scalisti Island to get your best gear. So, tiers are reversed, and I kind of like this idea, so I'm going to go ahead and try and get myself established on the server. Uh, as you guys have probably heard already, I'm trying to do something very interesting with a tree, and hopefully I can live somewhere down south as well, but we're going to find out how the server works. Uh, it is a little bit modded as well, so we're going to find some custom areas. So we're going to find everything that's to the server, so I'm just going to spawn in. I can see in the top right of my screen I have to visit the trader. That's a quest. That's very interesting, so they've got quests on the server as well. Alright, I'm just going to go and loot up. Uh, you're going to check some stuff on the way, and then we're going to go to the trader. I think the best, the best... I don't know if we'll get rewarded, but I think the best place to go... Is Dolina? I don't know what, what what's a Devil's Castle. I think Devil's Castle is a. Uh, I don't know if that's the same save zone as Dolina. It looks the same. I guess I'm just gonna load up and then I'll eventually go to the save zone. I'm not sure why there's a save zone on C. All right. Okay, that's looking a little bit better. Modular vest plate. Okay. So we're still rocking the Desert Eagle, so if someone's here, we're gonna bop him with the Desert Eagle. Clear to me that this server is really based on the south. Because I was up in the north, you know, looting down at the northeast airfield, and I haven't been getting anything good. I've been getting scopes, I mean, potentially mags, but... As you can see, all I'm getting is like 300 rounds. It's like the highest the loot I've found. Some AKs, maybe. AK mags, I haven't found the actual AK either. Seems kind of empty. My question mainly is though... It seems like it's, a, it's an extraction point where I'm at. I, I thought it was a... It's called rescue zone. So I thought it would be a safe zone, but it might not be a safe zone. It might be an extraction zone. Which I haven't really... You know, I, don't, I don't really have that much experience with extraction zones. Wait, quest completed. Are we being teleported? Oh, we're at the safe zone now, I guess. Safe zone, yeah. Where is... Oh! Okay, so we're now at sea. It's so it teleported me here. So this is this is what the safe zone looks like. It teleports you here, and then you have Dolina. Oh, no, no. Okay, so it's gonna te teleport me back to Dolina. And we have Green Mountain, so it's gonna teleport me to Green Mountain. Yeah, that makes the most sense. Okay, that's fair enough. Damn, guns are expensive, man. That is a lot of money. So I figured out as well that you spawn with 500 euro starter cash. Yeah, 500 euro is really not, not that much because I think the food is already like 100 euros per piece of food. I don't remember the last time I have to pay 100, you know, 100 euros for rice. But apparently it's like very expensive, the food here. Medical stuff is also too expensive, but you can't buy this. Okay, so we have a water bottle and we have a... Uh, kind of bacon, so we should survive for quite a bit here. We're gonna have to loot up in the military, I suppose, because this is absolute trash. Alright, let's go to Prison Island. Prison Island is supposed to be tier 4, so we're gonna go and do that.
Right, we have arrived at the prison island. Uh, I already saw a bunch of zombies standing there, so I feel like there might be someone around because you have to be around to render those zombies, I believe. So I expect. Okay, yeah, well, that gives it away. The gunshot. Okay, there's definitely someone here. Alright, the shots seem to be right there, and I think I just seen him. I thought I just, yeah, okay. Zombies are aggroing over there. Oh, he's in, he's, oh! That's not good, okay. Uh, he has, probably has an angle. Does he have a sniper? This is bad. If he has a sniper, I'm dead. I need to move, though. I'm so messed up. I'm just, I'm just in, a, in a bad position here, because if he... Could I hold him? I don't really have anything to fight him. Okay, I might as well run. If he's shooting zombies, I might as well just run around the entire thing and come back to the other side. I am not winning that fight. Oh, he's coming out. I think he's following me. He might be following me here. This is bad. He might not have an angle. Okay, I'm just gonna run. Alright, so far I haven't even found any loot inside the prison. Maybe these hunting cabins will have something. And did, did this guy just loot everything? Or am I just being trolled by this game? Because I am not finding anything, and this is supposed to be tier 4. I think this guy's just been looting the entire minute there. You know, he's just taken everything. What's interesting though is that I walked in here, I even heard him shoot when I walked into the actual prison. And then now he's just, it's all gone quiet all of a sudden. But maybe it's because he's at the other... I see like a little rock there, so I think it's a custom area. Custom military area. So we're gonna move over there. He was right here, shooting these zombies. He must have been moving on to that side, but we gotta find a gun. I mean, hopefully I can kill him, because he must be geared by now. The amount of zombies around here is actually crazy. I wonder I wonder what happened to this dude then, because if he didn't run past this, he but you know he would have accurate the zombies, so he couldn't Interesting way to loot this as well, I don't know. Alright, we got a gun. Nothing that we can shoot still, but you know, gun is a gun. Oh no, it has an egg. Okay, no, never mind. We're good. We have an AK. Come on. Oh, there's two guns here. Okay, what? Bro, what is it with these zombies that are just like flying around teleporting? Alright, this guy has to be around here. So I ran all the way up here. And this is the modded area. And this is the only place I haven't checked yet. But this guy is not here. I do suspect him to be here. We're gonna flank around just to make sure that if he is here, he's, you know, he's gonna get the flank on his ass. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it really doesn't look like someone's around at the minute. And I think this guy actually logged out. I think he must have actually logged out. I don't know what else he, he could have done. Maybe he just ran away, I don't know. At this point, I looted the entire military and made sure to check every single corner for this guy potentially hiding. But he really just properly ran away or logged out. Anyway, I moved on from Prison Island and went along the coast to hopefully find a good base location. I kept moving all the way along the coast until I eventually realized that most of the coast are no build zones. Because there's tier 4 loot, you cannot actually build there, and therefore I decided that the smartest plan was just to keep looting and get better gear at Skelisti Island which was supposed to be the best military on this map, on this server. So far the loot's been very promising to be honest guys, because 
I have just been checking the bridge here and the loop that's in front of the uh, the actual island so on the coast practically and yeah so far I've got a Delta 5 Pro and then I have a bunch of magazines so we're you know we're doing a little bit better that this is like a little bit better than the 308 so it's better than like a Tundra but still vanilla level loot Ah, so over on that side, uh, there's a bunch of zombies, which does indicate there might be a player over there. But that's also the modded, the modded area of Skelisi Island, Skelisi Island, so that's where the best loot will be. Something there as well. There's a bridge there. Okay, so that makes the most sense, right? Going over to that modded area and try checking it out, trying to get some better loot. And hopefully getting a guy as well, or maybe not hopefully, depends how geared he is. For some reason, all the zombies in the field decided to come to me because one zombie saw me. So now we have every single aggro possibly in the area. And I'm running into the military campus here, but this is not an ideal... Yeah, what's this? This is like some sort of bunker I'm going inside here. Oh my god, there's at least 10 zombies outside right now. Use. They're going inside. Interesting. So you come inside here. Oh, it's dark. I don't have night vision. Yeah, I won't be able to see anything. I don't have any flashlights either. Damn, that would have been good loot probably inside here. But I can't go inside from here because I don't have any... Yeah, nothing. I decided to trap the zombies all in one container and made sure once they were all locked away that I could finally loot in safety. There seemed to be no one in the area, and so I checked every single tent in hopes of finding better gear, but also potentially finding a keycard. Needless to say, the entire military was looted, and I now had better gear, and could protect myself and actually take a fight. Oh, there's actually someone shooting. So someone's at the other side of the bridge, probably. That might be... I don't know. It's interesting. Are you going to be about to die? Is that what you're saying? Shut up, Breacher. You know you're trash at this game. <laughs> you tell him in that mood to wind you up today, I tell you that. Much from that. I'm just trying to kill this guy. Like, he's probably just going to run away once I get to him, though. I don't know. So, uh, I'm on my way to save you again. You mean save me for the first time in human history? Alright, so I can't take the bridge. I've been scoping this guy out for like five minutes, but there's a huge rock in the way. And there's nothing I can see. I think he might be behind that rock somewhere. Uh, it's, pr it's like so big, like you won't be able to see through it whatsoever. So I'm going to take the bridge on the right side. I believe there's another bridge they made, a smaller bridge. And I'm just going to try and flank him. He hasn't shot in a while, so maybe he's, you know, he's trying to come to me. That's why I've kind of been waiting. But he hasn't moved up the bridge anyway, so I'm just going to make a move on him instead of waiting. Maybe I can catch him, uh, catch him looting still. He is shooting at something. <clears throat> I don't know what he's shooting at. There's no way he's shooting like... Yeah, M90AB is what he's shooting, I think. That's a 3 3 gun. I don't know why he would be shooting at zombies. So there must be people fighting, I guess. I don't know why else he would shoot that gun. But they're far enough away for me to not be able to see them with the, with the folk. So I'm gonna have to get closer. Still shooting, man. What? What's going on? There's like a massive fight or something going on there. Just making a stash real quick, guys. Making sure that my loot is secured. Uh, drop some other stuff as well on there. There we go. They're fighting down there. Let's see if I can get an angle on them. Quite interesting this way. That's what they are. I hit him once for sure. That's definitely a hit. What's he doing? Okay, so he's going around the left. Stuff kill. They're going around back. What? What? Bro, he just turned around and shot me with a 556. That's so so that's that's so sus, bro. Look at that. That is weird, man. Why would you even do that in that fight? They're still fighting. Why would you go mid-fight, turn around to shoot me on the hill with a 556? 
I don't have a bandage on me either because I left it on the stash. Server restarts. Server's about to restart in like a minute now, isn't it? This is bad. This is an actual joke. It's been 10 seconds. My blood's gone so far down with one cut. What do you mean one? How can one cut get all my blood gone within a time span of 10 seconds? I'm gonna die. I'm just gonna die to blood. GG's. Restart. Nice. Now, because I was bleeding out, I had to wait there after restart until Reacher was on my body. And he had to get me the bandages that I needed to fix my cut and live. Weirdly enough though, when Reacher arrived at his destination, he was prone in the bushes and told me that the guy that I had just shot at that suspiciously hit me with a 5.56 gun was actually on the exact location where I was locked out for the restart. He was standing on not even like 10 meters away, 1 meter, like the exact location of where I was locked out. And this is kind of weird and Reacher died in the process of that. So Reacher had to come back after he died again to give me the bandages and this is what it looked like after Reacher had finally returned. Clear. Interesting, so I'm immediately flashing blood after I log in. And I was red blood before so oh. this blood is going on so fast. Okay, that's that's that, that's there crazy. Go, there you go. Take, take the bandages anyway. I've got. Uh... Oh, thank you. All right, I got the stash. The gas mask is somehow gone though. I don't know where the gas mask went. Did he steal the, the gas mask? That's so weird. Wait, oh, the gas mask's back. What? <laughs> it just teleported away and teleported back. Right, the, the gas mask back. Okay, he did not find the stash. Luckily. All right, let's go. This looks more like a black market trader. I don't know where the actual guy is though that we're trying to sell stuff to. There's a little guy over here. I'm sure this is also the NPC, but this kind of looks like... Okay, let's see. Vehicle trader. Dennis. There's a gun here as well. Maybe I might be able to sell that I'm to Dennis. Oh, no, wait, Dennis is a vehicle trader. Yeah, Dennis is only for vehicles. Oh, look at that poor jacket. There we go. I have no idea where the actual trader is then. It might be over here then. Yellow building. Where could it be? Wait, there's a g is this guy AFK? What, where? Oh, no, no, it's the trader. No, it looks a hell of a lot like a guy. Just because the way he's standing with, with a gun out, you know. Gear. Right in here. Damn. Oh, yeah, yeah. Definitely looked like a guy just standing there, full geared. At least we found the trader. Let's see what we can sell to this guy, because I'm trying to get now rid this of this. This will sell stuff. for 2.1, my sniper rifle. Yeah, but you need it to shoot, so you won't be able to sell right, it. There is some ammo. Let's see, we have the Delta 5 Pro that we can sell. We can sell... Okay, Golden Axe. That's very nice. Nice bit of money there. At least we have a little bit of money, but the main money is probably going to be... Bag, my vest. You can't really sell anything. Anything that's significant. Or anything small you can't sell. Only my, my actual vest oh, I'm using. Or my actual store. gun. Unbuyable, damn, look at those vests and guns, man. AWM, oh, I've got two, two of these on the sack of cell, it's, it's not sell for more. Juggernaut so vest, some crazy vest right here. Right, we're just gonna have to leave, I guess, because I can't afford it, or we can't buy any of this, and we don't really have anything to sell either, so... That's fine. Right, let's get down to that event, shall we? Hey, uh, read quest board, bro. What is this? Oh, so you can get money if you ah, okay. do a certain Wolf quest. Hunter. You could have done that one. Make the world a better place. Kill 100 zombies. That's interesting, you know? Might be able to get some money off that. Oh, ah, okay. Yeah, we'll have to have a look at that. We might have to do that to get... Uh... This could be huge. You can get money, gold, bar. Let's go list the island, bring a shovel. Ah, okay. Wait, what? Yeah, oh, whoa, whoa. You, can, you can get C4 with this one. Which can we selected that? one item? Oh wait, four, 40k, 40k, a C4 or a punch card. Let's go for the C4. The Queen, whatever that name is, reported that seven crystals have been stolen. Find no crystals, but that's going to be very hard because finding crystals, I don't know how you, even how you get them. Like, 
Because where, where do you find them? You haven't even found a singular crystal. There's other interesting quests though. Event quest. Into the darkness. Enter the military bunker. Okay. Oh, you get two boxes of nails if you explore Death Isle. We're not that far from Death Isle. After we go for the King of the Hill, we could actually go to Death Isle. It's probably yeah. something you can swim. Yeah, it might know, be. Two boxes of nails is might be worth it. Lucky seven. Kill seven bears, pigs, cows with ta with a tapper without dying. A tapper? You have to kill pigs with a tapper, man. <laughs> Keycard exchange. Okay. Ooh, you can get a 10, if you get tier 5, tier 5, tier 6, and tier 6, you get a tier 10 keycard. Needless to say, we checked out all the missions and all the quests that we could do, potentially getting gunpowder or even C4. But first, we decided to go for the scheme of the hill that was happening in Cherno. The only issue was that this trader is located in the middle of the sea down south. And so, we decided instead of going back to Green Mountain, to take a swim. And actually swim to the coast. Which would take one kilometer of swimming, and then we would be there. Ready? Ready. Whoop. Bye. Look at that. I can see my house from here. <laughs> I can't see anything. Okay, it's 990 meters. Here we are. Okay, this should be, should be enough for me to start walking again. Yep. There we go. So we both lost about 30 health because of the cold, cold water. But luckily, we are in a situation now that we can say that we have made it. Now there were some shots. Oh, yeah. Speaking of shots, Ooh. there have been some shots. Is that you? No, no, that's not me. That's I, I'm still. I just arrived. No, no, no at you or? No, it's not at me. Yeah. It's not at me. It's like somewhere. I, oh, I see a little bit of the smoke. So there's smoke from the gas station. That's what we heard. We heard some shots while we were swimming, and explosions. And we thought it might be someone getting raided, but it's actually the gas station blowing up. So if someone's yeah, shooting the gas station. Bit. Down a coat. Yeah, no, no worries. Um, we're both 66 health, so we're not really in the best shape at the moment. By way of weapons, really, and stuff, it's, I mean, it's okay. Oh, that's close, mate. That's close. That's really close. That could have been at you. Not at me, because I'm behind the hill, but... It's too dark to see as well. It's too dark to see. Yeah. I guess the guy wasn't exactly too close to us, we decided to just go into Cherno and hopefully run away from this guy while capturing the King of the Hill. And we decided to flee the scene and go to this actual location. Whoa, what is Alright, this is the actual King of the Hill location, so I'm gonna start capturing that. I'll add another one, mate. Another wolf. There you go. Wait. I'm on the hill as well. Okay, I might just be trash at this game, not gonna lie. Okay, so there's actually a window up here somewhere. I'm trying to figure out which window it is. There's a window up here somewhere that we can capture it from, and then we have an angle over the street. Yeah, I'm trying to find out which window side, it is. So I don't know whether to stay, yeah, I don't know whether to stay across the street. I'm in the window now, yeah. If I were to cross the street from the end, try and get another angle. That could be good, could but be at the same thing. time, I don't know. You, you, you'll be fine up here if you just sit here in this window, because you have like old yeah. views of where the guys were shooting from. That's uh, The side where they were shooting from is exactly the side where I have an angle on that side of the road, so. Yeah. No, you could if you want to, you know, but I'm just going to sit here, I think, because yeah, yeah, I feel like this is the I've best angle. I've got but uh, it's alright. Yeah, if this, uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll give you some pills when we, when we get the chance to do it, but we got to fight for this, I guess. There's no way these guys won't pull up. Oh, I see a guy. He went around this corner, uh, on the end of the road somewhere. I just saw him again. He's he's inside the shed. I shot him. I shot him for sure. I don't know if he's dead though, but it looks like it. Either dead or on 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 that shed. Oh, there's zombies. Not sure if that's a kill though, mate. Not sure if that's a kill. It's at least one guy though that's pushing. There are zombies across the street, but it's alright. Just saw them running. 
some wolves pulling up. I don't know. Yeah. If you can I definitely decide. did hit him. I definitely did shoot at him. I don't know if he, you know, I see the blood, so he's definitely hit. The question is, is he dead? So whereabouts? Actually, on the street as such. No, it's just around the corner of the street, in the shed, red shed. I don't know, I should probably be getting out of this building though. It's not very good plan to just sit here. Especially because I just shot here. He might have a teammate, but if he's solo, we need to loot him. He might return. I don't know how long it takes to get here. It probably will take it like is 15 it left minutes. Right? No, is that, that shed? No, no, right in front of us here. Straight down the, down the street. Okay. I killed him just across the road here in the red shed. He should be in. I feel like someone might be holding his body though, so we gotta be careful. There's a wolf. Interesting. Very interesting. No sounds. That shed right yeah, there. Yeah, Red see. shed. <laughs> oh, there's a guy there just down the road. And he's around the corner. Alright, I'm gonna flank him, I'm gonna flank him. I'm gonna go all the way around, okay? Is he still in that, that position? I think so. Yeah. yeah. I see that Sorry. one zombie standing outside that building. I don't know if that's an aggro. No, it's not an aggro. I think I just hit him. I think I just hit him. He hit me too, though. He's on the little ledge, on the little... The, the, stone, the stone little... Uplift, that's where he's at. You can see the blood on the wall. Oh, I see the blood splat on the wall. No, oh, I see him. Yeah, he's seen me. He's still there. Still on the blood splatter, same position? Yeah. He's in the door. Alright, just hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't die, don't die. I'm, I'm flanking on him. I should have a good view on him in a second. I can't see him. Is he in that double door? Yeah, the same one that he peeked earlier where the blood was. Yeah, yeah. He okay. was there. Green, like uh, green, so jump on. Oh shit! I'm hit, but I'm okay. Just metting up. Yep, I'm flanking from behind them. He should be in that. I should have an angle from him from here. We kill this guy. We've got it. We've got this job. Yeah. He has to be inside. Yeah, I'm out. I have an angle on his back door. He should be in there, right? Huh? Yeah, he's out. He's out the front. Careful, I'm flanking you on your right side. Back, back around, back around. On the train tracks. Let me know when he's actually out. Is he on the stone? Yeah, he's still in that. I'm here again. I'm here I'll again. I'm back okay. in. Get this, I'm just hold it, just hold it. But... Just hold it, just hold it. Heal there, heal there. Don't peek it. I'm outside on the train tracks. I have an angle of like the front of his door. So if he comes out of his door, I have an angle on that. But if he's inside the door peeking you, I don't have an angle on that. So don't peek him. I'm trying to get him to like leave his house. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that door. Yeah, that door right by the blood splatter is still there. Okay, I'm gonna go around back then because I should have an angle around back here again. You don't know. I I don't see him. It's that door. He's just not peeking it. Yeah, hold on. Why? 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 I'm watching that door. There's only one open door yeah, outside, yeah, yeah. I think. Hold on. Uh, I'll come and sort it. Hang on. I'm just going to stop myself bleeding out. I got into a fight with him, maybe. I'm half now. I'm one tap again now. Can you shoot one to, like, bait him to see if he peeks it? Because if, if he's in that door, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. You, yeah. Might, you might get tempted. I think I have an angle on his door, but he's not peeking it for some reason. I thought, is he hiding in his house? I'm so confused. Why is he not peeking this anymore now that I'm here? He did, like, he doesn't know, I, he can't know that I'm exactly here. I can hear a bear, mate. He's not peeking anymore. He's just sitting inside, I guess. The bear's on me, mate. I'm closing the doors. Go inside. I don't know if that means the thing's dropped or what. He had a couple. I hear him. Oh, he's outside? Yeah, the first. 
He's going back in. This guy, bro. Yeah, gotta kill this bear. I'll be sincerely delighted to figure out if this we guy is still camping. He's just he's just sitting there, mate. He's just sitting there somewhere. That's dead. Mate, the flag has gone all the way down to the bottom. Yep. Oh, that's because we aren't capturing anymore. I might have tagged him, I might have tagged him. Nice, good stuff. So we've hit him already like four times so. at least. In that door, in that door, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think that must have been a hit, that must have been a hit. Yeah, it's close, close to the door. door. Yeah, yeah. I'm rushing left side again. Please tell me this time. Oh, what? He's hit me. I'm low, I'm low. You gotta hold me here, you gotta hold me here. I'm holding the door. He's outside me, he's outside in the corner. I can't shoot. No, he's outside, mate. He's outside, he already ran out. I know, this fight wasn't particularly beautiful and it costed Reacher's life as well. But on the other hand, we did actually find out who our enemies were before we even built up our base. And we weren't really, yeah, we haven't been that smart because we didn't even set up a base. We realized that now that we knew our enemies, we weren't gonna let this one slide. And we had to find a way to counter these guys. They definitely had better gear than us and they were definitely playing this server for longer and therefore we had to come up with a strategy. It wasn't going to be the numbers, but it was more going to be the gear. We couldn't lose this gear. We couldn't keep losing our gear to these guys. And therefore, we decided to set up a base. But not a base where you can steal our loot. Instead of getting the best code locks and grinding out our base, we decided to make a smart base. A base that no one can find, rather than it being highly protected. After we spawned back in, we saw in chat that this guy was clearly typing and now we knew his name. Gingerino. He wasn't alone, he actually had a teammate. At this point in time, we had no idea who this guy's teammate was, but Richard was killed by Destined earlier today, and that seemed to be a duo. We didn't know if these were the same guys, but we suspected that maybe this is the same team. So we set out on a new mission to build our base, and this time around, we would have a little bit more luck. Blessing! Alright, we gotta head to the trader, and we gotta figure out how we can get... Uh, we, can, we need to get a little bit. We need to get a flagpole, and then we need to get a saw and a hatchet. That's all we need. Normally, you'd need a, a code lock and all this other stuff, but we're gonna go for a simple design, which isn't even that protected, but it's just hidden. It's just hidden away. Secret, secret stash. No one's gonna know. Wait, who are these guys? Hello, Mr. Freshy. Hello, Mr. Uh, Woodwick. What happened? You died? I died, yeah. Time to do it at the oh, king of the hill. We hit him a couple times, but he just had a better vest, apparently. Why is South so familiar? I don't know. Oh, he said, why do you sound so familiar? He already knows. What yeah, do you mean? Uh, are you maybe uh, a YouTuber? You sound really familiar. Wait, what? What am I? A YouTuber. Which YouTuber? What's his name? Uh, Sid. Who's that? Who's Sid? <laughs> can you speak can you speak Dutch? Can you speak Dutch? I don't know, what is Dutch? What is Dutch? Yeah, huh? I, I don't know. <laughs> what is Dutch? Yeah, you know I think Dutch, you know the language Dutch? What's Dutch? You know Richard, what's Dutch? What is that? <laughs> I hear you, come on, it's you, it's you, it's you. It's you man. I know, I know. Teacher, what is it? Teacher, teacher, what is Dutch? Oh yeah, oh, no, you you I know I, you know Armex? What? Armex? No. Richard no. was on Armex, so you no, are no, Sid. No, no. Hello, sir. Um, <laughs> potentially, potentially. Uh, no, I will no. say X on the show. No, okay? potentially, Anna. Just know your voice. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, we watched your. Video I'm sorry, bro. It just. <laughs> he spoke to him. I was like, yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, 
once he once you spoke to him, I just I just knew it was you. I said nothing for a minute. <laughs> yeah, well. Maybe I shouldn't speak in saves anymore these days. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a voice changer. Yeah, voice changer. Or we, yeah. we squeaky voice. <laughs> Hello, I am Provia. Oh, 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 oh. But that was Mister uh, Tullamore you killed in uh, Armax. The big base. Oh, the, the, when I use the drones on you yeah, guys. Yeah, or, or Reacher kill. I kill Reacher, I think. Once. Yeah, you were raiding oh, the base. Oh, that was you. Wearing that blue thing. Yeah, we shot your drone out of the sky. Yeah, I see. I remember that. That's that's cool. That was actually the last. Uh, la yeah, last time I played Armex. I that was, was cool. the guy that's shooting you at, uh, a ton of bullets just through the wall to be try to scare you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It didn't we're just like, what? The, what is this guy doing? Why is he shooting bullets at the wall? <laughs> that, 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 that was me. I thought maybe wall bank, but... Yeah. yeah, well, that was a big GG, man. That was a cool raid, I'm not gonna lie. Unfortunately, we didn't end up getting much of the loot, but... But uh, have a good one, man. Have yeah, we just one. died at the uh, King of the Hill, unfortunately. Yeah. Well, if you have a spare gun or anything, we would take it. That would be appreciated. Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on. We're getting a special gift here, Reacher. <laughs> that yeah, look at this. Man. Just trying to get me one as well. <laughs> <laughs> there. Good luck with the video. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for yeah, the gear as well, man. See you guys. We'll see you. Love we'll you. See you though, in a few days. Hopefully not. If you can find my tree, maybe. I think so. <laughs> see if you can find my tree, bro. Yeah. <laughs> These guys did us a huge favor. They gave us some money, and with this money, we could now buy the standard base building supplies. Well, the standard base building supplies that we need, not everyone, because we only need a flagpole and a bit of nails and a bit of wood. So a flagpole, a hatchet, and a handsaw, just to create our entire base from scratch. It's because we're living inside the tree, so we're climbing in the tree and no one knows how to actually access this tree without climbing it. And how to climb it, they have no idea. Right, so this is the tree. And what I know is that 100% guaranteed you can climb to the top of this tree. And I'm not, I don't mean like in the side of the tree, I mean all the way to the top of the tree. Now I'm still figuring out, figuring out exactly where and how you need to do that. So, you know, if it doesn't, if I won't be able to get onto the top of the tree immediately, guys, please excuse me. I will make sure, I will guarantee right now that at the end of this video, I will guarantee be in the top of the tree. I will make sure that I'll, I'll make it happen. And I will do it in a way where you can do it in vanilla. Um... I'll make sure that's possible. I'm just trying to figure out exactly from this video. The link to the video, uh, you know, I'm going to credit it in the description. So make sure to check that out. Uh, there's a bun bunch of locations in vanilla where you can actually jump up the tree. But this is a vanilla tree. So that means you can get inside the tree on vanilla as well. Oh, I see. As you can see, I'm falling off. But you can climb all the way to the top of the tree. So I'm going to guarantee to you guys that I'm going to make that in the end of the video. Uh, I'm going to make sure we build the final base in here, but I'm still having a hard time finding it out. So maybe it's going to take me a couple of days to actually get this skill down, because this is going to be a tough one. I can't seem to find the exact angle. I need to check this video better. Mean in terms of... In terms of, there's only one place where you can actually jump the tree exactly, and that's where you need to look. And then you can... There's like exactly... Like the hitbox of the tree is really weird. You can go all the way to the top of the tree and hide your entire character with your loot. Um, but you need to find the exact angles where to jump. And that's what I'm having a hard time with. So maybe you can try it out yourself. But it's harder than you think. And, you know, I, I challenge all the viewers as well to try and do this. Did he jump into it or, what, or walk on? No, no, he jumps onto the first bit and then he jumps onto the second bit. And then he, like, does a small jump and walks to the top of the tree. We'll have to figure it out, Richard. If we can do it right now, we can just set up a base somewhere else. And then we can actually build this later. But I want to make sure that by the end of when I'm making this video, I want to make sure that I can do this. So that might be... Might take us a couple of days to, to figure out, Richard. But that's fine. I have a better idea, actually, to hide our loot for the meantime. Because I think that this won't work for us right now. I mean, it will work in the end. But I'm just saying, for now, before I can get the full tree vault to work, uh, I am going to... Let's, let's hide our loot away, because we don't really have the time to waste here. Right, so we're looking for some place else to hide our loot. We're not going to have to use the code lock. There's something on the... Wait, what is this? MK1. I think this is one of the items you can trade in the save zone on the quest board for gunpowder. So, that's good. That could be good. Uh, yeah, I can put that on. Okay. Yeah, we need to, we need to find the chicken box. 
And then we can actually put the crate in the chicken box for now. We're gonna hide our loot, mates. We're gonna hide our loot. We're gonna figure out a way yeah. where we can yeah. put this inside this chicken thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the eight planks together. I'm gonna craft them with a box of nails into a, a wooden crate. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm gonna put them inside this uh, chicken box. And then... Okay. Look at this. Wow, we got the wooden crate. Uh, put anything you don't want to lose. It's temporary, so we'll, you know, we'll, we'll get this back later. Well, the only thing I've got is this. Yeah, hang on. Yeah, hold on. Stop, 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 stop. Hang on. Stop, stop, stop. Hang on. Let's just get this. There we go. It's only temporary, but it just should do it. There we go. So no one's ever going to be able to find that, because no one's going to be looking in the chicken box for, you know, a wooden crate. What you can do is you can stand, I believe, somewhere around here. So you get the access to it, you have to stand in this corner and then you have to pick it up. Basically like double click it, and then there you go, I did it. So then you have to create and then you could, you know, use it and then place it back. Oh, so it works, so it works, okay. It does work, yeah. After making a little temporary stash before we can actually build up the tree, we decided to run towards the trader and at the trader we hope to do some missions. We realized you can trade in that circuit board that I found earlier for two gunpowder. Meaning that we were on our way to actually get a C4. But then we noticed in the top left of our screen that there was an airdrop coming down. And we decided to go to that airdrop by using the quick travel to the other safe zone place to then go to the airdrop sooner. We then ran all the way from the Dolina trader towards the Sonaki airdrop. And once we arrived, we were too late. All the monsters and all the bears had been killed already, meaning that someone had already taken the loot. And this meant that we had no other option than to retrieve from this town back to the trader. So we ran, back on the road towards the trader, and that's when we noticed this. Oh, there's a car! Wait, the car is actually good to go. Someone's left it here, so we need to leave with this thing quickly. We need to get out, out of this thing, because if the base owners of this base that's right next to us here, if they come back, they'll take their car back, so we need to leave. We decided to take the car, and we hoped to do the mission that we had set on to do earlier on Death Isle. So we turned the car around and drove around the coast to go to Death Isle. Oh no no no! Copyright. What? Did you did you just what? put on the radio, bro? No. I heard it radio. That's gonna get me copyrighted, man. Yeah, there's a radio it was on there, but that's been on for a while. Really? I only heard it like a second. Oh. oh! Go, 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 go. Yo, he's a big god. We're f get out. We can't get out. Come on, get out. Oh, I knew it. I'm dead. Where is he? I wouldn't have a clue, mate. He's suppressed. He's probably on the hill. Go in. Let's go inside the house. Go inside the house. Try and clutch this. And so I died. But surprisingly, Reacher quickly managed to clutch and kill one of the guys that tried to push his house. So I ran back as fast as I could and hoped to get back to the situation before Reacher died. Oh, I guess who it is, mate. No, are you serious? Is it, is it the same guy? I'm 100% I'm I've got his dog tag. There's not a singular chance that they're there 15 minutes late at that airdrop, unless that's their base. Unless that's their base. That has to be their base then. Has to be destined in Gingerino's base. It has to be then. Oh, fucking hell. I'm stormed it. I'm dead. I'm dead. How many left? How many left? Uh, there's there's one that stopped two. There's two that were in the building. Ah, oh, damn. Damn. And yeah, what was quite interesting is that Richard died to the same guys, destined and Gingerino. They later confirmed that it is in chat by saying GG back to Richard. And this meant that we could now firmly believe that that base was theirs. Because of the sleeping bag, they could spawn in and come back really fast before I could when I had to spawn at the actual spawn. We knew enough. Yeah, I'm pretty much back at the exact location. I'm not too sure what's going on. Oh wait, they're just driving away with the car now, mate. They're just driving away with the car now. We could even confirm it now because we can follow that car, see if it's see if it's at that same base. Yeah, go go to it. But he already went out. He's he's walking on the pond right now. He's walking towards the base. I'm gonna check the loot. 
He's probably running to the base. So one's in the car, one's outside the car, probably. It's the same duo. Watch it, just watch and see. Well, as well. Mark. Yeah, the, yeah, the car's outside, the car's outside. Doors open. Oh, mate, this is their base. Right, well, we're, we're calm now, eh? But if we get C4, we're, we're booming these guys. But yeah. we just build up our tree base, and then we get some gunpowder from the missions, and we try and raid these oh, guys. Oh, yeah, I think so. We just do one of those quests. We just, we just spend the day doing one of those quests, and we raid these guys. Yeah, I think that's the plan. Just mark it up, see, we'll see what you can see in the base. Don't let them know that we found it, because we don't want them to build up. Because because they know that because we know that they're there. Well, well, they're probably. What do you mean? Like we, we like we stole their car? Of course they know. Like they know we know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but they won't, won't know that we know it's them. If you see what I mean. Either that or kill them right now when they open the door. But I don't know. It's too risky, maybe. Yeah, you can do just to piss them off again if you want. I'll probably die though, and that's you know I don't really have the best gear right now on RPK. Yeah, don't give them the satisfaction because especially as well it's just, like I say you don't want to. Um, them to uh, no, like I say, they say they won't. Know, there's no way of us knowing it was them. You see. But right, I'll leave it now. I'll go to the lean. I'll go to the trader, and we'll do some missions, and we'll see if we can do yeah. something. Got to build up the base, though. Yeah. I decided to go to safe zone and start getting my first gunpowder by buying a shovel. With this shovel, we could now dig up a secret treasure that was hidden somewhere in Tanaris. On the top right of my screen, it would show the exact quest that I just acquired on the mission board. And this meant that we could now find out where the meter range would go down and which way I needed to run. So next, we used the quick travel method in the safe zone to figure out which one was closer to the actual location of the treasure. So eventually, after running and making sure that we were closer and closer to the location, we managed to find the first one, the first buried treasure, which was on a hill next to Chernogorsk. I don't know. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Well, what the f is that? Some sort of rock thing. Yeah, I, 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 is that a C4? Oh, there we go. I got the gunpowder as well. There we go. Wow, where did that come from? Did that spawn in your backpack? Yeah, so when I completed the quest, it gave me the gunpowder because that's the, 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 the you know, what you get. That's the reward. After getting my treasure, my treasure quest was on a cooldown of 10 hours. But luckily, I was playing with Reacher, and Reacher had an individual quest, and he could do one, and this one was further away than we thought. Oh, hold on, where are we? Yeah, 11 meters. 13 meters. 14, 12. Did you know I was asking if it's just me and you nine. and the team? Yeah, it's worked it out, unfortunately. He already somehow knows that we're a team, but to be fair, he did kill us both, so maybe that's why. It's worked it out somehow, I don't know how. Looking for the uh, 21 meters. Uh, what? 20, 17, 14, 12, 7, 6. You're having a hard time, aren't you? It's somewhere in the middle here, I guess. One meter. It's here. Below your feet, then. It's somewhere here, right on the spot. Yeah, I see it. I see it. Dig up. I got it. Yeah. Right, you need to make sure you grab the stone because if you grab it, you'll get granted the gunpowder. If I grab it, I'll just get the stone. We don't get the gunpowder. Here we go, you got it? There we yeah, go, nice. Oh, I got a gunpowder, yeah. Yeah, let's go. After we completed both our missions, we couldn't get more gunpowder unless we sold something, and therefore we decided to log off and go on tomorrow morning. And tomorrow morning, we wanted to make sure we could get another one of these treasures, bringing us up to five gunpowder if we sold our MK circuit board. Alright, it's so now the new, uh, the new morning, and uh, today, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a quest of my own. I'm gonna get one gunpowder quest with a shovel, one, uh, you know, founder's quest. And then I'll get the other quest as well for getting the MK circuit board and I'll sell that. And then we should have five gunpowder, meaning we just need a bird up sack and a thing to craft a full C4. So we practically have enough then, so... Right, this should be the exact location. There it is, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna dig this one up. I'm probably gonna get the same loot as we got yesterday, but yeah. This one wasn't that far actually, this one was quite close. So I'm just gonna grab this this gunpowder and then I'm just selling the thing and then we should be go should be good. There we go. So I went back to the trader, where I was met with a pleasant surprise. 
One of our best friends pulled up. Hello, kick. Hello, Mr. Gingerino. How are you? Just chilling, man. Doing some, uh, doing some quests, some work. What about you? I'm no, doing good. Just chilling. What are you up to? What are you doing? Not oh, guys, we're trying to raid around. this guy's base, Sorry. man. This is bad. Oh, you're so stacked, man. Where'd you, where'd you get that vest? Is that like a keycard vest or something? Uh, yeah. Oh, Destin is also on. You know when we were fighting yesterday? Uh, you mean when we got when we got the car? Yeah, yeah, there were two, one, uh, two another team as well. Were yeah. you in a team with them? No, no, we weren't in a team with them. We just basically, uh, we, yeah, we found a car on the road. We stole this random car, so we took it and we tried to drive along, along the coast. And then like 100 meters further, we just randomly get silenced by like four guys that didn't even know what was going on. But then, yeah, we tried to get out the car and I eventually, I actually instantly died because I couldn't get out the car on one side. My friend stayed alive and I think killed one of you guys, but you guys won in the end, I think. Yeah, yeah, I saw, I shot you with the... Yeah, but you guys were like four deep, no? Like 4v1, was it, from a teammate? The guys, we had no idea. Oh, I, I thought those guys that were there after... Richard died. I think th th those were like four guys that, of your team. Yeah, we, we took it. We took it. You took the car, yeah. That was crazy. We came because we heard a hel helicopter sound. That's the only reason. Helicopter we came. sound? What the hell? So I, I think they landed with a helicopter and took the battery out. Interesting. It was actually crazy thinking about the fact that we just spoke with our number one enemy that we made on the server. They went to Green Mountain and they left me. So I decided to get my last mission done by getting our circuit board that we found earlier, yesterday, and decided to trade it in on the quest board, so now we had the 5 gunpowder that we needed. I then waited for Reacher to get on, which was only like 5 minutes, and Reacher grabbed the gunpowder that we had lying around in base, and we used the gunpowder from the day and from the day before to be able to craft the C4, and then we decided to go over to Dolina, knowing that these guys, right in front of me, quick travel to the Green Mountain Trader. So we knew that their base was uncontested. No idea. There you go, mate. Nice, nice. That's all the gunpowder. <laughs> Five gunpowder. <laughs> I have the exact thing. Craft explosive. Have the let's hope pack. it's got everything. Let's hope it's got everything we need. Yeah, let's hope we need it. Otherwise, we need to find the uh, radio, the handheld transceiver thing. Oh no, we need to get the radio, man. But we need to. We can't buy it in the trader, so we need to find it. Unfortunately. The radio. Yeah, but we should be able to find it in the town, I think. So, we got our C4 made together, except for this handheld transceiver. We moved to Dolina in hopes of finding the handheld transceiver around there, and we hope to raid their base in a moment so we could build our base. We looted the towns for this handheld transceiver, this radio, but to no avail. We could not find this radio. We kept looting, but we noticed in the top left of our screen that there was a below the airdrop, and we hoped that these guys would stay at the below the airdrop, and this would keep them busy. We kept looting until we actually arrived at the location of their base and we realized that we weren't going to be able to get this handheld transceiver anytime soon. And that's when we noticed that they had actually built up another door. It's, there's a code lock attack. Oh, they upgraded their base, mate. They've upgraded it. It's no longer one door. It was one door yesterday, but it's, not, it's no longer one door. Yeah, so that's two and this is about to be a three, isn't it? It is already three. It's already code locked, but they forgot to close it. Can we, we not we dismantle need... it, Nick? There? Can we? Can we? Can I just use this oh, axe yeah. to dismantle it? No. Uh, wait. I might trap you in here. No, I'm, not, I'm coming out. Huh? No, but listen. If you close the door, don't don't close it. Don't close it. Don't close it. I think you can't dismantle it. You you, you can't dismantle it because if you, if you could, it would take uh, close the damn door to dismantle, and that's it doesn't allow you to yeah, dismantle. Yeah. Really? Oh, bro! They 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 they, they, they their cars in here. Right, I'll get the zombie, mate. You get you get the wall. Just, just keep punching it until it breaks. They've only lock picked it, so that means you can just punch it and then eventually it'll go open. Just keep going, just keep going until it's open. These guys really thought that that was gonna stop us from stealing their car. Tell oh. me everything's in. Everything is in the car. Trench gun, is that recorder? Right, let's get this gun and uh, this this car and get out of here, man. Is it open? Yeah, there's nothing in here. There's a better backpack for me though. Yeah, well, I think we've got to, got to stash this because they know that we've been we've, we've been around because all oh, the zombies, so they come back anytime. Yeah, I mean there was that below the airdrop, so I don't think they'll be back anytime soon because they did go Green Mountain, which is kind of close. So I think 
We should, we should just take the car and leave and then we should be good. Oh yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, that's right. Go. I'm dead. Keep going. Oh yeah, oh yeah, now they're back. Oh yeah, that's that's definitely that's definitely a coincidence. Yeah, no. That makes 100% sense, of course. Are you dead? Yeah, no, they got me when I tried to turn. That's just weird to me though, bro. That's just weird to me, not gonna lie. As you can guess, at this point I was immediately pissed off. We lost our C4 due to a dumb play that we made. And although it was very sus that they returned at the exact moment, just like all the times that we fought them, they just had to somehow were exactly at the right moment at the right time. We decided there was nothing we could do about it, and instead I decided to go for an airdrop. One airdrop, another airdrop, and I kept going, kept grinding gear until we could finally build our base and make sure that we could secure our loot instead of having to risk it every single time we tried to go out. Yeah, well, the last airdrop wasn't that uh, successful. But what I did do is I did buy the stuff that I need to dismantle our flagpole. Uh, I did find storage as well. So I found a bit of storage that we could put down in our tree potentially. So I've put down, I've taken, uh, I bought all the stuff that I need to use to take down the flagpole. I'm going to use that on the flagpole. Build down the new flagpole in the shed next to the tree. And I'm going to build up the entire tree how I want it to be. It's not going to be that complicated. It's just going to be a very interesting technique to actually get inside the tree. But I'm going to show you guys that in a second here. I just need to run over there in a second. Right, there we go. I've taken down the original flagpole. So I'm going to place the new flagpole down. And I'm going to show you guys. Give me one second here. Alright, so I placed that down here in the corner. So we have an extra barrel here. I don't know if I can actually put that in the tree, but I'll I'll leave it like this for now. Raise that flag. Alright, that's the sound of a heli crash over there. That's okay. So what you need to do is you need to climb exactly on this angle. I found it out now. You climb on this angle, then you jump up this this piece of the uh, this side of the log, and then you jump. Okay, this is gonna be a hard one. You have to practically jump onto the higher bit here. There we go. So you jump over this, and then you should be able to go to the edge of these. There we go. And then jump in the middle. And now I need to prone to the left, I think it is. Yeah. And then what happens is look at this, guys. I'm climbing to the top of the tree. <laughs> What is this, man? So now I'm on top of my tree, and I now have access to be to snipe around, you know, to snipe people. And people can really see me because, I mean, obviously I have white clothes, so people will probably be able to distinguish me from the from the background or from the sky. Maybe not even from the sky, actually. But I have access now from up here, so I can snipe people. I can put down storage here. I can practically do anything up here, and there's no one that's going to be able to know that there's loot inside this tree unless they see this video. Or unless they climb into the tree and no one's going to be really, you know, competent enough without practice to figure this out. I love this, man. So just going to have to figure out exactly where I put the storage here. I think putting the crate down is going to be, yeah, I figured it's going to be impossible. I thought it would be possible, but the crate is actually impossible for some reason. In vanilla, you should be able to actually put the crate down, but for some reason it's not letting me because it's winter Chinaros. But here's my strategy. I'm going to place the storage with my, my head facing up, meaning that I can access the storage inside the tree and no one can see that storage. So if I just quickly find the right angle, I should be able to place it. I'm just going to do it a little bit inside here. So it's inside the leaves and you can probably access it from where I'm standing. So if someone climbs up halfway in the tree, you know, they, they might not be able to climb to the top of the tree, which is probably the hardest. Because Reacher is probably going to have to master this as well, just after I do it. It took me like a thousand tries to learn this, to do this competently, so I, I, I don't, you know, I don't blame if Reacher isn't able to get this down the first try. Uh, I just need to figure out what I'm going to do with placing the storage and placing our loot, but this is the, the practical idea. Okay, I've put my bag in there and then they create inside the bag, so there, that way, you know, the loot's going to stay in there. And I actually have space, because I can only really store weapons and not really other stuff. Put the saw in there, perfect, okay. Lovely. And before I end this video, because I think the video is going to get quite long, and I wanted to finish this before the video ends. Oh my god, look at that. You can't see that there's any storage in there. 
You just can't see it. You really cannot see that there's storage in there. Even, like, unless I'm standing on the bottom of the tree looking in there, I cannot see their storage. Imagine this is winter tornadoes as well, so the, the branches and the leaves in this tree are less thick. But unless I, like, even if I scope into it, you can't even see that that's anything there. You can just see the flag on the shed, and that's all you can really see. Not even from a different angle. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Oh my god. Look how, look how beautiful this is. On, on Summer Tanaris or on Jungle Tanaris, which are different mods, obviously, uh, you, it's, there's the same trees in the same location, uh, but the leaves are thicker, so you can't, you can see less than what you can see right now. And you can already see, you know, you can't see shit right now. So what if you, what if you do? I'm gonna try and see if I can get the slap, step ladder down to make it easier for Reacher to get further into the tree, because you should be able to make the step ladder function in a way where if I place it down, Reacher will be able to have an easier time getting here. But if you just climb these two, these two uh, branches, you should be able to access the storage already. So let me just try and see if I can place this down. Alright, so this is going to cost us a little bit of uh, hiddenness, because it's not going to be as hidden anymore. But the stepladder does work. So the stepladder makes it easier to do that little jump. The hardest jump to make, basically, it makes that easier. So that way Reacher can get up in the tree and it's still practically hidden. It's a little bit less hidden because the step ladder is easier to see, but still, I mean, unless you're really, uh, uh, but down below in that tree, you can really see it. And let's see if someone like actually hypothetically managed to be able to actually see it. There's no way they find the exact jumps. They need to know. Like, th there's no way they know the exact jumps to actually get to our loot, which makes it even more funny because they they can see our loot then, but they can't take it, and that's the that's the funniest part. Alright guys, we're gonna start developing this tree. I'm probably gonna start placing more storage down when I find it. So look, Reacher, I've made the tree, and I've actually already managed to uh, to get a step ladder in because you're because you're probably bad at climbing, right? You know, because you're maybe too incompetent to climb this tree. I've decided, especially for you, you know, like when you know when you have a car and you have a baby, and the baby needs like a little baby seat. The step ladder is for like you because you're the baby. You know what I mean? Ah, I see. If you're gonna get cocky, I'm just, I'm just saying. Like, you need to. You might, you, you might need to like learn oh, how to do this. The tree. <laughs> <laughs> Take the L. <laughs> but yeah, so the storage is in the tree. I'm gonna add the storage that you Mate, found in the tunnel. To see if I can shoot you. What do you mean? You want to shoot me, bro? Why do you want to shoot me? Well, because it's you, isn't it? Well, yeah, but I, I mean, I, I can shoot you back. Like, my my vest is better, and I'm placing storage down. I'm doing an actual good job. Like, you're just sitting around doing nothing, you know. Like always. Which way is it? This side or? You know what? I'm gonna let you figure out how you can climb this tree yourself, and then you know, it's then we'll way. talk. No, no, no! You're gonna find out yourself how to climb this tree, and then we'll talk, Reacher. That's when we'll talk. All right? By the next episode, I'm, I'm, I need you to make sure you can climb this tree competently. And if you can't, then I'm gonna dis I'm gonna disown you. You're not gonna be in the team anymore. Which side is it from, though? Which side have I just run? I've just got myself confused <laughs> when I came in. So it weren't this side. <laughs> good good, good luck, Reacher. Until next week, buddy. See you later.